Glory and praise to our awesome God. Welcome, beautiful ones. Welcome to another message today. God loves us so much. Hallelujah. The power of the Holy Spirit is with us, hovering over our lives to create that which is not there. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. God loves you so much. My supporters, the supporters of the kingdom, welcome. Welcome back to another message today. May the name of the Lord be glorified. Your gift shall not be hidden. Your light cannot be dimmed by anything. You are unstoppable because of the power of the Spirit of God, because of the name of Jesus Christ, and because of the hand, a stretched arm of God over your life. The mighty hand of God is not an arm of flesh. It is dependable. The people in the old boasted so much because God would just point his finger at anything and things would work out. The Red Sea parted and this is the dependable God we are talking about. He is here with us, he is here with you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Today I want to talk about that gift, the talents, the potentials, the virtues that God has placed inside of you. All those things are there to advance your life and if they are misplaced, if they are hidden, if you do not know about them, you will continue to suffer. And this is the point number one. These are three signs. And suffering is just a sign that your potentials, your gifts have been misplaced. They are not advancing your life. God created you in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. The word of God is clear. This is what we should all go to and say, God, you have created me. You did not create me empty. You did not create me without anything. I'm here for a purpose. I'm here to advance the kingdom of God. I'm here to shine, to rise like all the people of old did. And they did that because of recognizing and acknowledging and digging deeper and finding out that which was placed inside of them. There's something God has placed inside of you, that gift is to announce you to your world. And if you are here and you do not know why and what is inside of you, you will be suffering in this life. And that will be injustice, not knowing that everything has been placed inside of you to advance your life. Hallelujah. God did not create you empty. And if your gift is misplaced, you will be suffering. You will be struggling. And this is not the will of God. So what do you do? In Psalm 119 verse 130, I mentioned this in the previous video. The entrance of the word of God gives light. Some of these situations is just the light of the word of God. It's just to go inside the word of God and finding out what is Jeremiah saying about my life. God says, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. I set you apart and I ordained you to be a prophet to the nations. We look at the word prophet and you get discouraged and you are like, I'm not a prophet and I don't want to be a prophet. But you're a prophet to the nations. A prophet is someone that speaks life. A prophet is someone that God can use to bring healing to the nations, to bring healing to your own life, to those around you. You can be a prophet to your own life. Speaking words of life, speaking and declaring a thing and seeing it happening. Advancing the kingdom of God because we are using the wisdom that is from the word of God. God says, before he formed you in your mother's womb, he knew you. I was so happy to read this scripture again because it means that God has put his seal over my life. He says it himself that before himself formed me, it means I was formed by the Lord. And it doesn't matter how I came to this world. We walk around with so much shame and guilt. My mother didn't love me. Or I was born out of wedlock. All those things that we carry so heavy. Not knowing that it does not matter how you came to this world. It does not take away what God has placed inside of you. When you were being formed, as long as you were formed, God's hand was upon you. No human being, not even your mom, not even your dad, created you formed you in that womb. There was nothing they did except being together that brought life into you. So God was intentional about your life. He created you. He set you apart. Imagine that. He set you apart for a certain assignment. And he gave you those gifts. He gave you something that was going to help you here as you come to this world. So thinking that you are useless, thinking that 
you don't have a gift, you don't even know why God created you, that is an insult to God because that's a sign that you do not go deeper in the Word of God. You do not read the Word of God for yourself. And I'm here to give you Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 for you to read again. I know you have read it before. I know you are a prayer warrior. I want you to go and read this scripture again. Let not your light be dimmed. Let not those gifts be hidden. You are a city that is placed upon the mountain top and you cannot be hidden. So I want you to embrace this. I want you to be excited about this. To know that you are not just a number and there's something God has placed inside of you that is there to elevate your life, that is there to advance the kingdom, to help others out there. God has already embedded everything inside of you. The second sign that your gift has been misplaced and when I talk about your gift being misplaced, it means that you are comparing yourself to other people. Instead of walking in your lane, running in your lane, doing the things that God has called you to do, you are busy looking at what you can do to impress others. You are busy looking at what others are doing. And if you cannot catch up to that, then you give up. Then you get discouraged. Mine is not working. It means that your gift is misplaced. When your gift is in the right place, when you are using your gift in the right direction, in the right place, you will flourish. And sometimes we walk in other people's gifts and then we struggle. You have to flow. If it is your gift, you won't struggle. You will do it without struggling. So what is the second sign that your gift has been misplaced? You will start to experience stagnation. Stagnation can be similar to the first point where you suffer and struggle in life without knowing that you have everything within you. So stagnation is where now you stop progressing, you stop growing, you do not develop, you do not move forward, you are just on one spot in life. So God placed gifts inside of you, that one gift, that one superpower that is able to lubricate your life, just one is enough you were born with it and it's just taking time to find out what it is and when you find out what it is you start to move in the right direction it's like giving your life oil you can call it anointing so your life is lubricated you start to move faster you do not stagnate you are not on one spot in life because a car that doesn't have oil cannot move you can have your gifts inside of you but if you do not know if you are busy copying other people you are busy working in someone else's gift and then you get stuck and you don't understand why it is because that is not your oil find your oil and your life is going to move in the right direction you are not going to get stuck because god has already placed inside of you that equipment he has empowered you it is like a tool that god has given you that your life even if it is so hard you are going to move forward you are going to find solutions because of what I've already placed inside of you. He has already set you apart for a certain assignment. And that assignment has everything. Every resource is inside of you. And then we pray and pray for years and years, continuing to be stuck, not knowing that the solution is already inside of us. God has already placed everything inside of us. It is obedience that will move you forward. And the solution here is to sit down and start repenting. Lord, I did not take time to find out what is inside of me. It is that one step that you can say, I'm going to invest in myself this year. I'm going to make sure that I discover my purpose. I'm going to make sure that I understand why I was born. This is the time. And God is going to help you. The Holy Spirit is going to help you. He's going to lead you in the right direction. Suffering and stagnation all come because of not working in our purpose. If you are working in your purpose, no matter how tough it is, God is going to give you a solution. He has already given it to you. So you are using those tools. And if God has already equipped you, equipped you before you were even born, how can you get stuck? You have partnered with him. So God is not surprised that you are going through what you are going through. He just wants you to walk in the right direction and discover what is there that God has already given to you. Let's look at the third sign. The third sign is you have fear of the future. This is a sign that your gifts are not being used properly or you don't know what is inside of you. You are scared, you are uncertain, you don't want to jump into the unknown. But when you know exactly what God has placed inside of you, it is like you have discovered oil. You can use it on your body. 
you can anoint yourself with oil, you can drink it, you can use it to cook. That's the beauty of discovering your oil. And when you discover your oil, you cannot be in debt. Remember that woman, the widow woman? That woman had oil. Oil did not run out because of the blessing of the Lord upon her life. And you, the blessing of the Lord, will speak for you from today and forevermore. Generations and generations to come. All you have to do is to discover that oil. It takes time. Be intentional about it. You want it, you will do it. And you have to sit down. It's not all the time that we are going to pray and pray and pray and pray and fasting all the time. You have to think. You have to take time to say, where is my life going? And when you are going to discover that gift, what God has equipped you with, many of your prayer requests are going to be answered. That will be your breakthrough. That will be the time that many of all these pending answers are going to just manifest. Why? Because you have found that oil that will lubricate every area of your life. You cannot get stuck. You are not going to suffer injustice. You are not going to suffer because of the ignorance and God has given you understanding. Remember the scripture I spoke about, Psalm 119 verse 130. This word is powerful. The entrance of your word gives light and darkness cannot stay where there's light. So when your gifts are misplaced, it's like you are in the dark. It's like you do not even know where you are going. That's why you'll be fearful and certain about the future. But God has placed everything inside of you so your life can move forward. This is what I came to share and I hope you've been blessed. Thank you so much for watching and everything you're doing in this ministry. Thank you for your support. God bless you abundantly. Share your testimonies, share your stories. If you are here and you haven't subscribed yet, take time to do so because we are being part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Watch other videos that I recommend at the end of this video. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.